Hi, this is James Sondrager here at Juniper Networks Education Services. Are you familiar with our learning pads? We offer 14 different pads covering the Junos OS and specific Juniper technologies. Each path shows the courses we offer and the relevant certifications in the order we suggest to maximize your learning. Just visit www.juniper.net slash learning paths to get started. When you click on a track, you'll see all the courses in that track and the associated certifications. You can click each course or certification to view more details. If you follow a learning path, you'll get the most from your training with Juniper Networks. Now, let's get to your learning bite. Hi, my name is Paweł Kacki. I am technical consultant and Juniper instructor in Poland. Today, I would like to show you how to configure and verify HRA features in virtual chassis like GRUS and NSR. Juniper Virtual Chassis is a network virtualization technology which supports up to 10 switches within one stack. All switches are managed via single virtual management interface and virtual console. There are several benefits using VC in the network. One of the most important is the fact that between devices participating in VC there is no spanning tree. Devices communicate each other using Juniper proprietary protocol called VCCP, Virtual Chassis Control Protocol. To create Juniper VC, we need only to connect devices using Virtual Chassis ports, which are enabled by default. Or, of course, we can use uplink ports. In some AX models, like 4500, we can use also access ports to create such connection. In the factory configuration, there are no HA features enabled across VC. That means backup routing engine detects failure of primary routing engine after 5 minutes. This time could be shortened up to 2 seconds by enabling graceful routing engine switchover feature. This feature also has impact on local switching within VC during routing engine switchover. Without GRES, new master routing engine restarts all PFEs across every switch participating in VC. GRES enables chassis daemon and kernel sync daemon on backup routing engine, which synchronizes its state with master routing engine getting information about all hardware components present in our VC. You can simply turn on and verify GRES using the set chassis redundancy graceful switchover. To verify mentioned feature, use show system switchover command. Please note that it must be executed from backup routing engine. We can see here that GRES on the backup routing engine is turned and fully synchronized with master routing engine. Another features which should be enabled in VC are non-stop routing and non-stop bridging. NSR enables RPD on the backup routing engine. RPD is a routing protocol daemon which is responsible for routing in Junos. RPD on the backup routing engine synchronizes its state with RPD on master routing engine. After routing engine switchover, all routing information is preserved on backup routing engine including link state databases, routing tables, forwarding tables, and agile senses. Non-stop routing supports multiple routing protocols, such as RIP, BGP, OSPF, ISIS, PIM, and MPLS signaling protocols like LDP and RSVP. Please note that non-stop routing uses GRES infrastructure, which means that GRES must be enabled. We need to execute only two commands to enable NSR. As you can see, there is a set system commit synchronize, which means that every commit command will be executed as a commit synchronize in our infrastructure. And the second one is set routing options non-stop routing. To verify NSR, uh, we need to execute show task replication command from master routing engine. 
Here we can see replication status for OSPF routing protocol. Non-stop bridging is very similar to non-stop routing but works for layer 2 protocols such as spanning tree protocols, LLDP, LLDP, MAD and LACP. On backup routing engine starts layer 2 control protocol daemon which controls layer 2 protocols in Junos OS. It uses the same prerequisites like non-stop routing. Configuration on non-stop bridging is as simple as GRES or non-stop routing, but there is no CLI command which shows non-stop bridging state. Let's check now how VC behave during switchover with and without HA features. That's my lab, 3A switches works within VC. A XB2 is a standalone switch. Between VC and B2 a standalone switch, there is OSPF where virtual chassis advertises 172.16.0.0 slash 24 subnet. During the test we will try to verify reachability of this prefix from a XB2 perspective. Okay, let's verify now in our lab environment how the described features work in physical environment. Uh, we have a uh, virtual chassis where three uh, switches currently are present in. As you can see we have master, backup and one switch which works as a line card. And on another AXB2 switch we can see that the OSPF neighborship is established with uh, virtual chassis and we are receiving and uh, this prefix these two prefixes from via SPF from virtual chassis. Let's verify if we can reach uh, the host route. Yes it's uh, working. Let's now verify how virtual chassis behaves without any high availability features. So, let's generate some ICMP packets and let's try to switch over master and backup role. accept this one and now our previous backup switch is now operating as a master and here you can observe that we are losing some ICMP packets it may take a, a while after line card switches connect to the new master routing engine so as we can observe some network outage in our environment let's back to our vc yeah as i said the old backup uh, routing engine currently is a, a master role as a next step, let's uh, enable and verify how high availability features work on our VC. We have to enable commit synchronize, which is mandatory when using non-stop bridging uh, feature. As a next step, we have to enable race routing engine switch over and non-stop routing let's commit our configuration we may stop uh, 
I see MP here. Alright, config is committed. Let's now verify uh, if our HA features are working properly. To verify it, we have to log into the backup routing engine, which uh, currently is assigned with uh, member ID 0. Sorry. Yeah. So we are on a backup routing engine. Uh, to verify graceful routing engine uh, switchover, we have to execute the show system switch over command. We can see that the feature is currently on and uh, the configuration and kernel uh, database is fully synchronized. It's in a ready state. We can also verify and in non-stop routing uh, after enabled non-stop routing on the backup routing engine the RPD process should start. So let's check it. Routing process is called RPD here. Yeah, we can observe that it's working. We can, of course, verify routing table. We have a copy information from master routing engine. The same story with uh, forwarding table. It's also copied from master routing engine. We are using in our topology the OSPF. So, so we can also check if OSPF neighborship information is uh, synchronized, yeah. So let's back to the master. We can also verify if non-stop routing operates properly from master routing engine. Uh, we have to use command show task replication. So, as we can see, everything OSPF information is synchronized, so let's verify if these features really work. Let's generate another ICMP echo requests and let's try to generate a switch over on switch over event on our virtual chassis. Now we have a new master routing engine, it's a uh, member ID 0 again. And you, as you can see here, we see that there is no packet loss. Yeah, so as, uh, as we can observe, these high availability functions gives the ability uh, to preserve critical information which is required to av avoid network outages when a failure occurs. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.